Don't trip off me. I'm getting ready. So, anyway, like I said, I got attitude because I'm just like, I don't trust this bitch. Something ain't right. So, Alicia, baby, let me tell you something. Baby, come outside and tell me, um, Pooh, this is not about you. <laughs> I was like, she was like, yeah, this is not about you. This is my wedding. She cool. She ain't did nothing to me. She want to have a genuine relationship with me. That's perfectly fine because her niece is in our care. I could totally understand because me and the baby mama don't have a good situation. So me and the sister is cool. Me and the mother can't get along. So it's me and the sister. I'm like, okay, I totally understand. She said, but I'm just telling you, Pooh, I know you're a good friend. I know you're trying to look out for me. She said, but I don't need you to look out for me. I said, say no more. You ain't got to tell me twice. She said, no, don't take it like that. I just got this, Pooh. Don't worry about it. I said, you got this. She said, I got this. Who am I to say something? That's the end of that. You know what I'm saying? I don't got nothing else to say. So, I left it alone. You know what I'm talking about? I left it alone. So, so like I said, I left it alone. So, uh, I'm sitting there. I ain't going to lie to y'all. I'm a little salty. You know what I'm talking about? Because I don't really be having motherfuckers to shake me. I ain't going to lie. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> well, I was a little salty because it was just like, bitch, I'm... Just trying to look out for you. I'm not trying to, you know what I'm saying? Like, I wasn't trying to overstep. It just was weird to me. And I really don't know how to be quiet sometimes. And, you know, sometimes I guess I just need to shut the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? So, it was what it was. So, we left it alone. So, she like, and you going to lunch and she going to lunch. And I want you to try to get to know her. And I want you to be cool. And, you know what I'm talking about? Let it go. All right, say no more. You know what I'm talking about? Say no more. Say no more. That's what you want. It's your wedding. She said, it's my wedding. It's about me and what I want, right? You know what? You're absolutely right. You know what I'm saying? You're absolutely right. It's your wedding. So we go to lunch. When we go to lunch, we all sitting there kicking. We talking. It's not a problem. Mike call or whatever they talking. He like, who you with? She tell him. He like, what you doing with her? She like, Mike, don't go there. You know what I'm saying? She cool. We go leave it as that. It's nothing to go back and forth about at this point, right? So I'm like, okay. So we leave lunch. My cousin like, I know you mad as a motherfucker. Yeah, because I'm, <laughs> I'm a little salty. Because she ain't never got at me like that. You know what I'm talking about? And I'm like, mm. You know, you know, but I'm going to be quiet because like she said, what she said was true, though. It's not my wedding. It's not about me. It's not about what I think. It's not about what I feel. It's all about her. So at this point, Mike is like, look, I'm looking over the numbers or whatever. He like, we finna spend over 50000 on this wedding. He like, do you want to spend that much money on a wedding or do you want to just go to Vegas and we just keep the rest and we can do a big ass party or we can take a trip wherever you want to go or you can go shopping, whatever you want to do. This what he telling her. So she like, baby, that's fine. I don't care. Long as we get married, it doesn't matter. What we'll do we'll So they changed the shit. Now we going to Vegas. Y'all already know every time my stories go to Vegas, they get crazy. So now we getting prepared to go to Vegas. Because now she like, I want to get married sooner than later. Fuck it. There's no need to prolong. We already got our dresses. We already got, you know, like little stuff that we need. Since we get married in Vegas, they go have a chapel, the decorations. It's really nothing for her to do. You know what I'm saying? All you got to do is show up to your wedding in Vegas with your hair done, your makeup artist. So boom. She like, okay. So now it, the wedding is about two months out. So we got a little planning that we doing. We meeting up, but every time we meeting up, the sister there. 
I ain't tripping. She didn't ask me to try to get to know this girl. So I'm trying to get to know her. I'm trying to be cool with her. Because like I said, this ain't my situation. I'm going to back the fuck up. But something ain't sitting right with me. It's just not sitting right. So, old girl coming around, whatever, whatever. And then she pulled me to the side and was like, Pooh, I'm just going to be real with you. I know you don't care for me and that's cool, but I'm going to be around. So, you know, we need to try to get along the best we can for the sake of Aisha. For the sake of Aisha? It ain't for the sake of the niece? Okay. Well, I guess so. I guess you're right. Aisha. You feel me? All right. Because this is my home, girl. So, okay, fine. Boom. I'm like, so are you in the wedding now or what? She like, no, I'm not in the wedding, but I'm coming. I'm coming to help her. I'm basically going to be like her assistant, this, this, and that. Oh, you the assistant now. Okay. You know what I'm saying? All right. Who am I? I ain't, I ain't got too much to say. <laughs> I'll go tell my cousin. Like, oh, so she, she the assistant. She like, girl, yeah. I'm like, mm. So Aisha like, Pooh, you don't got to protect me. Okay? I got this. All right, Aisha. I don't have nothing else to say. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to shut the fuck up. This is your business. This is your life. I have nothing to say. Nothing. Baby, we get to Vegas. We get to Vegas two days before the wedding. The little girl is there. The auntie is there. The baby mama came. I'm like, mm. Aisha said, you know, we talked or whatever. She said she wanted to come support her daughter because her daughter in the wedding. I get that. Okay, fine. So we get, to, like I said, we get there two days early. So I go to my room because I need to go to her room. We all in our rooms. So it's the first night. She like, I want to get fucked up the first night in case, you know what I'm saying, I get too loaded. It won't be the night before the wedding. Okay, fine. We go out. We all go out. The baby mama, the sister, the wedding party, we go out. And surprisingly, the night go off without a hitch. Right? But I get fucked up. I get fucked up. It's about 3, 30, 4 o'clock. They still partying. Bitch, I'm going to the room. But in the midst of me partying, I ain't paid attention to who's still here, who ain't here, who not. So, nigga, I'm going. I'm stumbling. Nigga, I'm fucked up. When I say I'm fucked up, like, I'm dropping my purse fucked up, like, dropping my key. But I'm grabbing my shit, though. You know what I'm talking about? Like, I know where I'm getting, but I'm a little, a little sway. Get off the elevator. They got to go to my room. Boom. Now, about, mm, i say about two hours later, I wake up, go to the bathroom. And then I was like, oh, my throat dry. Bitch needs some ice. So I grab the ice bucket. I'm going to go to the ice machine. When I go to the ice machine, I'm getting some ice. The elevator door open. When the elevator door open, nigga, I turn and look. When I turn and look, nigga, I see two people kissing. I'm like, mmm, mmm. So now I'm looking because I don't know who it is. You know what I'm saying? I can't, I don't know who it is. So I'm just getting my ice, but I'll kind of like step on the side of the ice machine. I don't know what made me get into like creep mode, but I did. When I get into creep mode, I look. I see it's the baby mama. But the baby mama kissing on mouse. I'm like, this nigga mouse. Not the nigga that I thought was the square from Delaware. Not the nigga that I said, oh, mouse, he's so sweet. He just tell everything. Mouse and a baby mama full bum. I'm like, 
which really it ain't no issue. But now I know why the baby mama here. This ain't about them getting alone. So I'm like, oh, something about to go down at this wedding. Now I can feel it. I'm like, oh, oh, this got to be a setup. This got to be a setup. This got to be a setup in my mind. So, boom, they kiss and they hug him. He grabbing. He all in that thing. You understand me? To where they don't even notice me. I don't know why when I go to the ice machine or go to the elevator, nobody never seen my big ass. They go to his room. Mouse room next door to mine. So now I'm full blown ear to the door. I'm calling Kanani. Where you at? She like in my, my room. I said, bitch, come to my room. I open the door. She come in. She like, what? I got the glass, nigga. Bullshit y'all. I'm like, listen. At this point, it's cracking in that motherfucker so hard. You don't need the glass. She like, who mouse in there with? I said, bitch, you ain't gonna never guess. She said, who Aisha? I said, no, bitch. That nigga in there with the baby mama. Kanani like, oh, oh, bitch, bitch. I said, bitch. I said, I wonder how long he been fucking the baby mama because this is too, this, this too much. Kanani like, wait a minute. Now it's making sense to why he always try to be the peacemaker when it comes to the baby mama. I'm like, you motherfucking right, bitch. You right. So now, she go back to her room. I'm smoking. I get in the shower. And all I'm up. Now I am investigation. It is on now. So, we go downstairs, we go see where we uh, walking at and shit like that. Everybody know who they walking with. We just looking at the venue, doing the walkthrough. That take about an hour. So, it's us in there, standing there. Kanani like, hey, mouse. He like, how you doing? She like, shit, everybody relaxed this morning, huh? He like, hell yeah, I, I had a good sleep. She like, you had a good sleep, huh? He was like, yeah, she was like, man, I'm telling you, it'd be, it be nice to be laying on something soft and cozy. He like, I know. She like, yeah, it'd be real warm. That shit be feeling good. He like, hell yeah. She like, hell yeah. I'm like, hell yeah, feel real good. I said, especially when you get that sneaky sleep. He like, sneaky sleep. I said, yeah, you know, when you slide in. You know, you go on and you go on and bust it down. You know, what I'm talking about knock it down, and nobody knows that you went up there and took your little power nap. You know, what I'm talking about that type of shit. He like, yeah. I'm like, yeah. All right. So now we done. Our other homeboy, he know me. He like, what you know? I said, what you mean? What I know? He said, bitch, I know you. What you know? I said, what you know? He said, I don't know. Do we know the same thing? I said, I don't know. Do we? He told me, poop. Do you know? I said, do you know? He told me, I think I know. I said, well, I think I know too. He said, what you think you know? I said, what you think you know? He said, I think I know the same thing you know. I said, so if you know the same thing I know, you already know what I'm thinking. He told me, man, come on now. I need to see if we're on the same page. I said, I'm just saying, turn the paper. He said, all I want to know is shit. Is niggas sneaking or no? I said, that's what I'm saying. All I know is I know niggas sneaking or no. He said, yeah, because if a nigga cross me with my BM like that, I said, yeah, we on the same page. He said, bro, I thought I was tripping. I said, no. He said, because I know her voice. His room is on the other side of mouse. He said, I know that voice. I said, bro. He said, then when the door cracked. He said, you know I opened my door. He said, but I had opened up my door already and left the little key thing out. I said, nigga, if you ain't like me. He said, so what we finna do? I said, we finna sit back and watch everything unfold. He said, well, I kind of like, you know, been saying all day, like, niggas is foul for fucking with niggas' baby mamas. I said, don't do that. I said, stay up out of that. 
I'm like, don't do that. I'm like, don't do that. He like, poo, fuck that, bro. Because this particular nigga that I'm talking to, Calvin, now this nigga ain't one of them niggas. He a type of nigga that's built on loyalty and respect. So right then and there, he lost all respect for Mouse. Because he felt like, nigga, you know what the homie go through with her? Everything he trying to do, he trying to be a real one. You feel me? And this is what you do to him? So Mouse is in his feelings. But I'm trying to get Mouse to stay out of his feelings because I'm like, let this shit unfold. You know what I'm saying? I said, because you already know, Mike ain't no dummy, bro. Let everything unfold because you know Mike. Calvin like, all right. So now we all going to eat. We all sitting down there eating or whatever. Baby mama come. She sit down. Boom. Just so happened, Aisha like, sit right here. She like, no, I'm going to sit down here by Mouse. It's fine. Y'all go ahead. This about y'all. Thank you for inviting me or whatever. She said, yeah, Mouse made me understand. Like, you here. You might as well come eat with us. We leaving the past in the past. She was like, I just want to make an announcement. I'm sorry for everything I did. I understand, you know, my daughter was in the best care with y'all. She was like, but I have really moved on with my life. I'm really, really happy. And, you know, I don't want no more drama. I don't want no more beef. I said, that's what I'm talking about, baby. Congratulations. I said, congratulations on your new romance. So Mike like, oh, you got you somebody? She was like, yeah, I got me somebody. I said, that's right, girl. I said, that's what I'm talking about. I said, that's right, finding love, love all at the table. So then Calvin, he on the opposite side of me. This nigga kicked me under the table like, bitch, I thought we wasn't going to say nothing. Well, they left the door open for me to say something on this one. And so I used to like, well, why you didn't bring him? You could have brought the love of your life, girl. Nobody is hating, girl. You know, I'm happy for you. You know what I'm saying? So the sister like, yeah. Why you didn't bring him? I say, oh, oh, it's finna go down. Oh, it's finna go down. I say, I look at the sister because the sister's sitting on the side of me. I say, yeah, why she didn't bring him? Who is it? She was like, girl, it's closer than what you think. Bitch, in my mind, oh, I already know who it is. What you talking about? So now the sisters, I'm telling her, you want something else to drink? I got you. She like, yeah, I'm like, girl, get you another drink. I'm like, look, we ain't beefing no more. It's all good. You know what I'm saying? I said, everybody deserve love. Everybody deserve to be happy. She was like, yeah. She was like, yeah, motherfuckers do deserve to be happy. But motherfuckers be scandalous, though. And I don't give a fuck. And I was like, oh. So now Aisha like, what's wrong? She like, nothing, nothing. She was like, everybody finding love. You know, that's good. That's good. I'm like, okay. I'm like, okay. So, the sister say, well, I'm finna get up and go because I don't want to say nothing to foul. I used to say, we all grown. You can say what you want to say. She like, nah, I ain't gonna go there. So now, we sitting there. We getting fucked up. They like, what you want to do? They like, well, we getting strippers tonight, so it's all good. Everybody go to back to the suite. We That's what we go do. So we go to the suite. Nigga, they got a bomb-ass suite. We is literally waiting on the strippers. We drinking, though. But now I done stopped drinking. It's time to drink some water. Because I can tell. I'm telling you, the energy, the liquor, just the ambiance. So I hear Mouse telling Mike, like, man, some, some, some. I know you ain't tripping off your ex, like. And then he was like, Mike was like, nah, but I just want to know, you know, whatever nigga she dealing with, go be around my daughter. Mouse say, well, I'm pretty sure whoever it is, you know what I'm saying, he go be cool. He ain't going to do nothing or disrespect your daughter. I'm pretty sure. Mike like, dang, nigga, you act like you know the nigga. He like, nah, I'm just saying I'm pretty sure she ain't give her credit, bro. She ain't she ain't this bad, you know. Mike like, damn, nigga, what the fuck is you? Her defense attorney or something, nigga? Like, nigga, fuck that bitch. Mouse like, what? Me and Kamani look. I said, oh, shit. Mouse like, don't call her no bitch. Mike said, I'll call that bitch a bitch if I want to. That's my baby mama. That nigga Mouse say, exactly, nigga. She just show baby mama. Aisha say, well, Mike, if he, you know. 
you ain't got to call her a bitch. He said, nah, baby, hold on. Stay out of this one. He said, bro, why you, what you mean? You, you trying to tell me I can't call my baby mama a bitch? That nigga mouth said, exactly. I look over at the baby mama, the baby mama sitting there smiling. He said, so, what you fucking my baby mama or something? Mouth said, that's my bitch. That's my girl. I mean, shit, we might as well tell you. Fuck it. I said, I looked at Calvin. The whole room then got quiet. Mike said, everybody get the fuck out. Motherfuckers is A-lining to the door because we know Mike. I'm like, oh, shit. But I ain't going to lie. They had some motherfucking Popeyes up in here. So I went over there to the box. Because <laughs> I knew. I'm like, I ain't going nowhere outside this motherfucking casino. So I go get me some motherfucking Popeyes and some red beans. I'm literally making me a box to motherfucking go. I done got me a six piece, some red beans, girl. Some motherfucking biscuits. And some motherfucking... <laughs> And mashed potatoes. But as I'm getting ready to leave, the strippers walk in. I'm like, I tell the strippers, hey, right now is not a good time. Y'all can come down to the other room. Y'all already paid. You know, we all down there. So I tell the uh, rest of the wedding party, just take them to the other suite. Y'all go down there. Here I come. Let me just make sure they straight. So it's me, Kanani, Calvin. Mike told Laisha to leave. So Aisha and his sister leave. The, he make the baby mama stay. That nigga said, Pooh, no, you stay too. Because I really just want to slide up out of there. He like, y'all stay. He like, because I don't want to go to jail. He like, so how long y'all been fucking around? It literally took that long. Like, that nigga mouse was like, look, bro, I don't really want to go back and forth with you. This my girl. She been my girl for some time now. And that's just what it is. Mike said, bro, I don't really give a fuck about you fucking with her, my nigga. But you been in my house and all this. You been chilling with me, nigga. You, you couldn't have been told me. He like, that's all I'm saying, bro. You could have been told me. Mouse said, I ain't have to tell you shit. She ain't yours. Mike said, so you just gonna be blatantly disrespectful. That nigga said... And you one disrespectful nigga. All the hoes you cheated on her with, all the shit you done did, nigga. Mike said, bro, you you you, you can't be serious. That nigga like, yeah, nigga, and I been told her. I'm the one told her everything, nigga. So what? You ain't deserve her. All I seen was Mike take off. Boom. Mouse took off. Boom. They in there rumbling. Oh, shit, Calvin grabbed this motherfucking nigga. So I run down the hall. I go get Larry. Hey, y'all come break this shit up. Break it up. We done broke up the shit. These motherfuckers is going back and forth. So I'm sitting there like... I, I'm not in disbelief, but I'm in disbelief of how Mouse is talking to Mike. Because I'm like, this has been his boy, Sandbox. Right? So in the midst of them arguing, whoa, whoa, Alicia finally come back down and she like, no, y'all chill, whoa, whoa. Mouse said, and you stupid as fuck too. You sitting up here being friends with this bitch and being cool with this bitch. He don't even know what she doing. Who? Who is you talking about? That motherfucker looked dead at the sister and was like, tell her, bitch. Tell her. Tell her. Tell her. Tell her what? Whoa, what? I'm sitting here like, tell her what? That motherfucker said. I've been... 